स्पॉन्सर्ड बाय सप्तम कलेक्शन बाय पी एन जी ज्वेलर्स After Congress on Wednesday announced that its top leaders like Congress Chief Mallikarjun Kharge, Sonia Gandhi and party's Lok Sabha leader Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary have turned down the invitation to attend the consecration ceremony of the Ram Temple in Ayodhya on January 22. BJP hit out at the Congress saying that it is yet another evidence showing that the party is anti-Hindu, saying that Congress has lost its mind as Ravana did in Tritayog. Earlier in the day the Congress announced that Kharge, Sonia and Chaudhary have respectfully declined the invitation to attend the consecration event claiming that the Ayodhya temple has been turned into a political project. Calling out Congress for taking no steps in the last few decades for a temple in Ayodhya, BJP spokesperson Nalin Kohli said that the party has since long denied Lord Ram's existence and delayed the Supreme Court hearing. Thus, it comes as no surprise that it will not attend the Ram Mandir consecration ceremony. Officially stating that its senior leaders will not be there in Ayodhya on the 22nd of January should come as no surprise. because the congress party over the last few decades really took no steps to see that there should be a temple at ayodhya in fact the congress upa government filed an affidavit before the honorable supreme court to deny the existence of lord ram they stood in court and never wanted an early hearing of the issue now that a temple has come up there the very fact that they are saying they won't be there it is part of what they've always believed that they didn't want a temple there and saying that this is an event of the bjp or the congress of or the rss this is an excuse slamming the congress union minister smriti irani said its leaders have turned down the invitation for the consecration of the ram temple at ayodhya dham which for devotees of lord ram is an important moment in fact she added that they had filed an affidavit in court that bhagwan ram has no existence thus repeatedly insulting the sanatan dharma कांग्रेस पार्टी का प्रभु राम विरोधी चेहरा राष्ट्र के सम्मुख प्रस्तुत हो चुका है यह आश्चर्य की बात नहीं कि सोनिया जी के नेतृत्व में जिस पार्टी ने कोर्ट में दस्तावेज दिया था कि भगवान राम का कोई अस्तित्व नहीं उस कांग्रेस पार्टी के नेतृत्व ने पुण्य अयोध्या धाम में राम मंदिर में प्राण प्रतिष्ठा के आमंत्रण को ठुकराया मैं इतना ही कहूंगी कि इंडिया अलायंस ने सोनिया जी के नेतृत्व में कांग्रेस के नेतृत्व में बार बार सनातन धर्म की उपेक्षा की अपमानित किया और अब इंडिया अलायंस के नेताओं द्वारा प्राण प्रतिष्ठा के पुण्य आमंत्रण को ठुकराना उनकी सनातन विरोधी सोच को दर्शाता बीजेपी स्पोक्स पर्सन जयवीर शेरगिल चार्ज दैट फर्स्ट टैलेंट डीएम के क्रिटिसाइज दनातन धर्म दैन शरद पवार एन सी पी डिक्लेयर लॉर्ड राम अ मीट ईटर एंड टूडे द कांग्रेस पार्टी डिक्लाइन इन्विटेशन टू द प्राण प्रतिष्ठा ही सीटेड दैट दिस इज नॉट अ मेयर को इंसिडेंट बट अ वेल थॉट ऑफ स्ट्रैटेजी टू हर्ट the beliefs of bhartiyas nafrat ka saman is sold at rahul gandhi's mohabbat ki dukaan he added dekhe pehle stalin dmk ki party ne sanatan dharm ke khatme ki baat ki phir sharad pawar ji ki ncp ne bhagwan ram ko masahari ghoshit kar diya aaj congress party ne pran pratishtha jo hone ja rahi hai uske nimantran ko asweekar kar diya hai ye ek sahyog nahi ye indi gathbandhan ki ek sochi samjhi chaal hai के भारतीयों की हिंदुस्तानियों की आस्था को ठोस पहुंचाने का और अपमान करने का एक षड्यंत्र रचा जा रहा है इंडी गठबंधन के द्वारा Amid the ongoing debate, the Congress Party's Uttar Pradesh unit had recently declared that they would offer prayers to Ram Lalla a week before on January 15 on the occasion of Makar Sankranti, showcasing that cracks are emerging within the party. Congress decision is also expected to be a huge upset for some workers and some Indian Alliance partners. Already, Congress leaders like Acharya Pramod from Uttar Pradesh and Arjun Modhavadia from Gujarat have termed the decision wrong. 
In a period marked by heightened religious enthusiasm, the recent choice made by Congress solidifies the perception that the Grand Old Party would sideline the sentiments of the masses in order to maintain the streak of appeasement. The repercussions of the statement made by DNK's Udainidi Stalin advocating the elimination of Sanatan Dharma and its endorsement by Congress have already drawn some heavy flak from the common people. Furthermore, Rahul Gandhi's decision to launch his Bharat Jodo Nyaya Yatra on January 14 before the Ram Temple event and skip Ayodhya while travelling through many other cities of UP is another testament to the current mindset dominating the Congress philosophy. Perhaps the not-so-grand but old party which termed the historical consecration as a BJP RSS event is scared that if its leaders attend the Ram Mandir consecration, it might not go down well with the people living in the south of Bharat, the only remaining strong turf of Congress.